Number 10. Nadal has revealed himself to be a skeptic. Nadal calls himself an agnostic, even though he was raised a Catholic. Being a Spaniard, it's normal that Nadal would come from a Catholic tradition, which he does. But he revealed he does not practice the faith anymore. He's more of a skeptic these days. Number 9. At the age of 8, Rafael began practicing with his left hand. Rafael began practicing tennis with his left hand at the age of 8. Under the watch for live his coach and uncle Tony Nadal, he encouraged Rafa to dedicate a portion of his practice time to isolating the use of his left hand after seeing how Rafa used two hands on both sides of his forehand swing. This is known to be one of the key factors that elevated Rafa's game, making him arguably one of the most versatile players in tennis history. Number 8. Nadal was also good at football At the age of 12, he was also active in other sports like football. He won the European and Spanish tennis titles in his age group. His father, Sebastian Nadal Homer, had him choose between tennis and football so that his schoolwork wouldn't deteriorate completely. Nadal said, I chose tennis. Football had to stop straight away. Back then, he won an under-12 regional tennis championship at a time just at the age of 8 when he was also a promising football player. He idolized the Barcelona striker Ronaldo as a child and, via his uncle, got access to the Barcelona dressing room to have a picture with the Brazilian. Number 7. He's an admirer of the football clubs RCD Mallorca and Real Madrid Nadal is a great fan of the association football club Real Madrid. He is also actively a supporter of RCD Mallorca, as it is the home team from his place. On July 8, 2010, it was reported that he had some shares of RCD Mallorca, his local club by birth, in his possession to assist the club from debt. He reportedly owned more than 9% and was offered the role of vice president, which he dropped. He remains a passionate Real Madrid supporter. He's as merengue as Real Madrid icons. Raul, Ica Casillas, and Alfredo Di Stefano wrote the ESPN.com writer Graham Hunter. Number 6. His right arm is slightly smaller than his left arm. Nadal is famous for the strength of his left-handed tennis style. Whereas there is an imbalance between how often he uses each arm, the muscles have developed differently. Thus, his left arm, measured around the largest part of his bicep, is 4 cm larger than his right. Despite being left-handed while playing tennis, Nadal is noted for being right-handed while doing everyday things, such as golf and writing. Number 5. The current net worth of Nadal is around $200 million. As of 2022, the net worth of Rafael is more than $190 million. He's one of the highest paid tennis players in the world. He comes third in all-time winnings in tennis history with over $125 million. Only Djokovic with nearly $147 million and Federer with just under $131 million have gained more winnings money. As of today, his total prize is worth $127,121,390. As per sources, he's gaining more than $13 million annually from his sports career. Since 2006, Kia Motors has sponsored him and has shoe and clothing endorsement deals. He has endorsement deals with Lanvin, Nike, Aeropro Drive, Query, Duralat 15L, Richard Mill RM027, Emporio Armani, PokerStars Online Poker, and Armani Jeans, among others. He purchased a customized yacht worth more than $3.5 million at the Cannes Yachting Festival in September 2015. Number 4. Nadal won the French Open for the first time at 19. He won the French Open on his starting attempt as a 19-year-old, winning against Mariano Puerta in 2005. He then went on to win four consecutive crowns from 2005 to 2008, defeating the then world number one Roger Federer in three finals in succession from 2006 to 2008. He also won against Federer in the 2005 semi-finals and the 2011 final. This makes Nadal the only player to beat Federer in four finals at the same major. Moreover, he's also the only player to defeat Federer in the finals of three different Grand Slams, the Australian Open, the French Open, and Wimbledon. Number 3. Rafael Nadal has gained the title King of Clay Nadal, the victor of a record 13 French Open men's singles titles, is known for his success on clay. 
Since his first appearance in 2005, he's only lost three times at the tournament – in 2009, 2015, and 2021. Nadal bears the record for the longest winning streak by any male player on a single surface since the Open era started in 1968. 81 clay court wins between May 2005 and April 2007. He also bears the record for most clay court titles in the Open era with 61. His game is ideally suited for clay as he has a hostile, behind-the-baseline game with heavy top spin. His attitude, skill, fitness, and strength make him a unique tennis player. Number 2. His uncle was a high-level professional football player His uncle Tony might be popularly known for his coaching, but he has another uncle named Miguel Angel Nadal, a retired professional football player. He played for RCD Mallorca and FC Barcelona at the club level and earned 61 caps with the Spanish national team. His uncle, Miguel, became an assistant coach under Michael Laudrup. Miguel Angel is probably best known for his penalty miss in the quarterfinal shootout, which made Spain crash out to hosts England and Euro 96. But that's not what rankles with him. His nickname, the Beast of Barcelona, was bestowed upon him by a press who could not see past his raw physical power and ended up defining him by it. A fate, perhaps, that seems all too well known to Rafael and may have even given the motivation for his finesse-fueled return to prominence in tennis. Number 1. Nadal won the Monte Carlo Masters for five consecutive years Nadal won the Torneo Conde de Gordo in Barcelona and defeated 2004 French Open runner-up Guillermo Coria in the 2005 Rome Masters and the 2005 Monte Carlo Masters finals. He beat Federer in the final of the Masters series Monte Carlo in four sets in 2006. Coming up, he defeated Federer at the Monte Carlo Masters for the third year straight, taking his open-era record fourth consecutive title in 2008. In 2009, he began his European clay court season at the Monte Carlo Masters, where he won against Novak Djokovic to win a record fifth consecutive singles title. He won the Monte Carlo Rolex Masters in 2010, beating Fernando Verasco in the final. Nadal is simply not just an amazing tennis player. There are more Rafael Nadal facts worth knowing. The Spanish tennis champion is also the youngest player to win the Davis Cup as an 18-year-old. In Wimbledon 2008, Federer and Nadal played the longest final in the history of Wimbledon which took 4 hours and 47 minutes and is considered the best match in tennis history. Also, he loves playing the PlayStation and says his favorite drink is Coca-Cola. With this, we've come to an end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos.